you want to taste it again? <laughs> My girlfriend is so pleased with me right now. Oh. Where you're actually... Ah! 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 Robert Eric Stone Street, that is his new movie, Secret Life of a Pets 2. And so what is this one about? Uh, more pets. More pets? Yeah, lots of pets. Uh, we go to a farm, uh, uh, Max and I, we go to a farm and we meet a very new exciting character played by <gasps> Harrison Ford. Oh, boy. So, uh, yeah, he plays a cool cow dog, cattle dog, like a ranch ranch dog named Rooster. Uh -huh. Very exciting. But well, Kevin Hart, it's, it's, it's amazing. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, in honor of your new movie, we've decided to play a new game. It's called Eric Licks It. And because uh, dogs lick things. And yeah, animals, they do. Yeah. yeah, they sure so do. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to have, we have four items. <laughs> You're going to put this blindfold on. We're not going to scare you. Don't okay, worry. Yeah. You, know, you can trust me now. Okay. I'm not going to scare you. I promise right. you. All right. Let me go. move you down to the first one. Mm -hmm. Keep your hands behind your back. Wait, I have to. Okay. You can't. You can't touch things. All right. So put your tongue down and. Put my. Can yeah. I lift it up? Oh. It's in this. <laughs> Something plastic, maybe like. Right. Uh, Do you want to taste it again? My girlfriend is so pleased with me right now. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know. It, maybe a golf, like something. Uh... Well, you're not trying that hard. I mean, if you put it in your mouth. Hmm. Oh, like, um, so, if it's somebody's mouth guard, I'm going to be real mad. Yeah. It's not. We'll tell you what that is later. Okay. You didn't get it. It's like fake teeth or something. All right. That's my final guess. You're right. You're right. Is it really? Yes, it was. Oh. All right. All right. You're on a roll. Who's fake teeth? Here's the second one. <laughs> okay. I don't care for that. What is it? <laughs> this is a new shirt, by the way. Noth oh. Nothing's happening to your shirt. I don't like it. Really? <laughs> No, because it's like it's like wet and moist and there's no flavor. And that's weird because I'm touching it and my tongue's telling me it should taste like pudding. No, it shouldn't taste like pudding. I think you do like it. Try it one more time. I, I don't I don't think you dislike this. Okay. And I don't know you, but I think you do like it. It you, literally has okay. no flavor. All right. All right. Here we go. Hands behind your backs. All right. <laughs> Ellen DeGeneres. What? We really might have beef after this. All right, this. come on. All right. Oh my God, I smell it and I felt it. Oh, that's Jello. Yeah, that's Jello. Yeah. Mm. All right. I think lime Jello. Is it green? Yes. Mm. God, you're very good. You only didn't get one. So but far. But here's the last one. Ma'am, what are you screaming about over there? <laughs> Why are you so interested in this? What have you done to me? <laughs> Is it Patrick Mahomes' hair? <laughs> it's actually Patrick Mahomes. Oh my God, <laughs> Patrick! <laughs> uh, it's a stuffed animal of some kind. What kind do you think it would be? Uh, oh, is it Duke? Yes, it's oh! Duke! That's it, you're done! Our first guest is an Emmy Award winning actor who made us laugh for years on Modern Family, but much more importantly, his Kansas City Chiefs are in the Super Bowl this weekend. Please welcome my friend, Eric Stone Street. Hi, Helen. Look at your, look at your mustache. How long have you been doing that? Well, you know what? I started growing this as a, guess what? A practical joke on my girlfriend. And then we started winning with the Chiefs uh, right before the playoffs. So I thought I would keep it uh, in solidarity with, solidarity with head coach Andy Reid. So it is my Andy Reid mustache. Go Chiefs! All right. All right. How are you feeling? It's a few days away now. How are you feeling? You know, I'm feeling good. It's weird having won a Super Bowl last year as a fan. Uh, it's a different feeling this year because of that, and then obviously because of uh, the pandemic. Don't know if you're aware of we are in a pandemic. What? Um, so when did that start? It's weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 weird that way as well. But I'm I'm nervous. I'm I'm optimistic. You know, because we have the foundation here in Kansas City to keep winning football games. So 
I think we're going to win on Sunday. I do. I think we're going to turn the chapter on Tom Brady. We weren't able to turn the chapter on him uh, necessarily in the AFC the year we wanted to, but we were able to last year. And then this year, uh, going against him in the Super Bowl, hopefully uh, we'll score one for the good guys. They're in their hometown, though. That's a, that's a tough one. They're like, yeah. it's Tom Brady and they're in their hometown. That is very tough. Yeah, it's going to be even tougher to lose in your hometown. Yeah. Oh, boy. All right. Wow. What are your plans for the big day? Obviously, you, you're probably not going. You're going to stay home? Yeah, we, we, after the AFC Championship here in Arrowhead, Lindsay and I looked at each other and just were like, this is what it would be like being in Tampa. It's just like sort of anticlimactic. So we decided right then and there that we weren't going to try to weather it and go down there. We're just going to hunker down here at the house. I got, uh, she allowed me to buy a, a recliner chair when we moved into this house in Kansas City. <laughs> Uh, so I have a nice recliner. I'm going to have some cheese fries, some nachos, some hot dogs, things uh, that I would normally have at Arrowhead or at a stadium. And I'm going to sit in front of my TV and watch it just like everybody else. I like to watch games alone, though. I don't like a crowd around me, Ellen. Yeah, I understand. I know Portia and I are watching alone, too, because we like to focus. We don't need the, t the talking. You're not going to be in a recliner. You're going to be on the edge of your seat, or you're going to be standing up. You're either going to be cheering or screaming. Uh, you, you, one, you're not going to be in a recliner. Well, I do get up, and I sometimes am known to get in a three-point stance and help out the team. <laughs> I'll get down when it's a goal line, goal line situation or when it's a third and short and we bring, they bring in the heavies. I'll get down in a four-point stance and add myself to the defensive line. Uh, no please, please take some selfies. Um, so, obviously, the Chiefs won last year. You were at the game. You ran into Andy and Kalen. Uh, you must have been happy to see them there. Oh, yeah. I love seeing those guys, and I love... You know, I have a saying in my life. I love dominating Andy. I love dominating Andy verbally, uh, mentally. You know, we text every once in a while, and he always tells me he's my best friend, and I say, you're my mild acquaintance. Don't forget that. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, seeing him there and roughing him up a little bit was pretty fun. I think uh, I got some good chest bumps on him. I posted an Instagram of me just bringing the boom. Yep. Boom. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, lo I, I, lo I love Andy. Uh, he'll always have that tape of me saying I love him. He's, he's a special guy. Um, Eric, okay, let's talk about, so you think right, right now the Chiefs would be stressed out. They're like working hard to, to, to get ready for the game, focused. But they just pulled a prank that is crazy. I, I can't believe what, I heard this this morning. Tell everybody what happened. Well, it's a testament to that locker room. So former punter Dustin Colquitt was signed back to the team and James Winchester, the long snapper, along with Adam LaRoche, who's a former Major League Baseball player and really good guy. Uh, Anthony Sherman messed with Adam a couple years ago and he messed with the wrong guy. So Adam decided it was time to get Anthony Sherman back. So there's nothing more in, in the world that, that Anthony loves than his beloved truck. And when Anthony went out to practice last Friday, they had a website ready to go and they auctioned off his truck to benefit human trafficking here in Kansas City, uh, the E3 Foundation. So they created a whole website, shermfightsforfreedom.org. You can go to it, donate, get your chance to win Anthony Sherman's truck. He will fly you and someone else to Kansas City, hand you the keys to his truck, or you can take a $40,000 payment, your choice. And they did this without him having any idea. And let me tell you, it couldn't have happened to a more perfect person. Oh Sherman God. is the king of practical jokes. He's the king of giving everybody trouble. And that's just a testament to everyone. They called me in and they're like, Mahomes is retweeting it. Kelsey's retweeting it. Will you do it? I'm like, I am in on this big time. So. It's great. They think it could raise a, t a ton of money. I think it's already up to 80000 So people have a chance to go try to win Anthony Sherman's pickup truck right now. I, that's a great idea. <laughs> Bublé is actually French for bubbly. And it gave me an idea. I sent Michael Bublé to a grocery store here in Burbank to pretend to be a cashier and give away some samples of bubbly. So we set up some hidden cameras. He's wearing an earpiece. He has to say whatever I tell him to do and say. If you can hear me, Michael, just stick your tongue out for no reason at all. All right. All right, just grab a can of bubbly and take a big sip. Just, just chug it. You say, sorry, I'm nervous, so I'm having some uh, bubbly. Sorry, I'm nervous, so I just have a little bubbly. Oh. Yeah. 
This is my first day on the job. It's my Are first day on the job. Aren't you Eric Stone Street from Modern Family? Are you the guy from Modern Family? Yeah. yeah. Cool, man, cool. Cool, man, cool. All right, <laughs> okay. Okay. Beep, make a noise. Beep, make the noise every time you scan it. Beep. I smell Beep. something arrive. Beep. Beep. <laughs> Thank you. What plans do you have? Wait, can I have a hug? Can I have a hug? I just have a hug. That's all I ask. Wait, but are hug. you? It's my hey, 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 hey. I didn't want to say anything. I was kidding. Oh, you're so amazing. You're such a talented guy, man. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Good. So, Eric, okay, this was hilarious because we realized the first person that walked up was you, and I, I was like, oh no, he's going to know something's going on. And you thought we were reverse punking you. I, yeah, I thought you were punking me for sure. My eyes got so big and I went, oh no, they're doing it to me. <laughs> I would have loved that, but nope. <laughs> I feel like I've just crashed the party, by the way, though. No. I feel like, here you go. You made the party. I'm sorry. How funny is it that this is like what you think kind of like living in Hollywood is? Yeah. <laughs> you know, like from maybe where some of you might be from. Oh, but famous people are running into each other all the time. Yeah. Oh. And you're like, well, yeah, I guess it happened today. Uh... Yeah. So I promised him I wouldn't scare him again because we scare him every single time. Every single time. So today. Um, Go on. Uh, today. <laughs> I was backstage uh, playing ping pong mm. so that uh, he would think that there's no way anything can happen. I'm playing ping pong. And we had a uh, clown hidden in a box in his room. And this is what happened. So this is not where I'm getting dressed? No. No, no, no. I'm over there. Yeah, OK. <laughs> oh, it's good. It is good. We got you again. Um, and how did you tell you, you live very, very close to here. Tell yeah. everyone how you got here. Uh, by car. No. By golf cart. Do we have, uh, do we have any video of him pulling up? Yes. This is how you drove on the street. <laughs> you drove from your house. Yes. That normally would have taken me uh, in a car about 15 minutes. It took me about two hours and a half. Yeah, I know. Because I was out there playing ping pong going, I thought you said he was two minutes away. <laughs> They're like, he's in a golf cart. I love uh, that thing. I drive it all around. I, and I love pulling up next to smart cars and just giving them real dirty looks. Like, <laughs> how big of a carbon footprint are you leaving? <laughs> then I try to peel out and I can't. You can't. <laughs> no. If you get pulled over, is that legal to drive a golf cart yeah. on the street? It's street legal. I have it licensed and registered. Yes, I do, officer. OK. Just checking. I want, I'm protecting you. I'm no, I, you. now I feel like you're yeah. setting something up. No, I'm not. I want to make sure you setting something up. No, no, it's a it's a question. Okay. I'm genuinely interested. Yeah, it's, in, it's street legal. Yeah, and all right. So you are a security guard. Yeah. I saw a picture at a Garth Brooks concert of you at. Uh, look at there you are. Yeah, that's me in 1994 ish, two ish, something like that, working a Garth Brooks concert in Manhattan, Kansas. Uh, I did that. I lied about my age earlier in in high school and got a job at the amphitheater near where I grew up in Kansas City. And my first concert was like a real. Christian singer, and then my next concert was Easy E and Boogie Down Productions. <laughs> oh my God. I was like, oh wow, okay, this is different. But uh, that was it, around '89, and so it was a lot of hair bands, Cinderella, Rat, Poison, those kinds of bands. So I saw more boobs than you wow. could ever imagine as a young, as a ju young junior. Did, and did, did, did fans try to like, because you're the security guard, try to convince you so they could go backstage? Oh, all the time. And I would get kind of the crappy positions because I was a young guy, but they put me off to the side of the stage one time, and I think it was Warrant, Winger, and the Bullet Boys. And this girl comes walking up to me. She has this beautiful flowing skirt on, and she's like, hi. And I'm like, hey, how are you? You know, she's like. So what would I have to do to get backstage? I'm like, oh, well, you need this, you know, this special pass. Not kidding you, she lifts up her dress and she goes, would this special pass work? Oh my God. Like, oh my God, that's hilarious, you know, because I can't uh, let you back there. Oh my God, I can't even imagine. I mean, if you're a security guard, especially at that age, where you're actually, ah! 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 
For s- how many performances? I don't know, a lot. He's done a lot of them. I'm out of breath. Nurse! Uh, <laughs> Lindsay! Oh my gosh. Corey, you were out of there so fast. Literally, we were hoping when he jumped up, you'd grab him, but he, he started leaving. And, and then I showed my quickness. Yeah, you did. You got him. How's Corey? Is he okay? I don't care. Uh, <laughs> how am I? Oh my God. I don't care. Oh my God. There was. Corey. Want to go again, bro? Uh, oh, my God. I think I did hurt my shoulder. Oh, uh, no. Where's what? Where's the Warner Brothers Fire Department? Uh, not coming. Yeah, they're not here now. Nope. No. They're out writing tickets. 